Okay, here is our next shop. High Priestess makes planet cards. Those can be nice, especially if we can level up like full house or something. And then here's our first look at a planet card. It just takes a certain type of hand and levels it up so it does more stuff in the multipliers. Now, just like the original base values, if you level up high card, the level up's not as good as if you put another level into straight flush. So everything increases, you know, sort of in a ratio to each other. 27 bucks. There's no jokers here and no packs in which to buy jokers, so... We do feel a little bit exposed as we look at the next... I guess, we, I guess I can't yet. Yeah, I can't see the next blind yet. Um, we want to be a little careful here, not to get too cute. Um, this voucher, by the way, is plus one card slot, so there's a third one up there where Venus and High Priestess are. It's a nice one to have more options. Uh, if I buy that, though, it will put one more card in immediately. It's like a free reroll of whatever open spots there are. But, boy... The Arcana Pack is tempting. These are the 21. Can still buy this later. But this helps us more in the immediate future because we desperately need to make more spades, more queens. So I think we're going to go this route. Because until we get more jokers, we got to be a little careful here. This is always nice. It's free money, which allows us to be a little more cavalier. Random joker. Hard to argue with. Lucky card. Not that interesting right now. This one can be valuable, even more so than the double, since the double's capped at 20. But right now, of course, we only have the one polychrome joker, so it's six bucks. And bonus cards. Nice to have, but again, not really what we're looking at. We're thinking either doubling the money, making a random joker. We got lucky with the last random joker. It could just be a common thing that doesn't help us at all. But it's tough. We need jokers, but this also allows us to buy more jokers. So I think we're going to go this route. This is going to help our interest, because now we can buy this. Look at a new item in the shop. It is a joker. It's not a very good one. But we would have had the money to buy that and still had enough interest. Instead, I mean, I don't really want to level up three of a kind because long term, that's not a hand we're going to be looking to play when it gets really high. It does have a pair in it, so it works okay with what we have going. But I don't know. I guess we're going to do it because it allows us to stay at max interest, and we're just going to hope to get better jokers in the next one. I'm not even super picky. Like, the things that boost spades would be good enough right now, or whatever. Just not that interested in a fifth discard right now. All right, 2,800. Skip is not very good. If we skip, we'd also have to beat 4,200 next time, so we have to be careful. That is starting to you know, ramp up a little bit. And we do see the boss blind now. First hand is drawn face down, so all eight-ish cards will be face down. There's a couple ways to trick that system. We'll get into it when we get there. Okay. We start with a hand with four spades and two pair. Ideally, we're looking to play three of a kind or flushes with pairs in them. So we know that these cards are not very useful. We're no longer trying to just get rid of our last six. That joker's gone. Um, there's another seven of spades in there. Another eight of spades in there. Um, I don't think there's a scenario where we keep the six, because there's no more sixes to draw, and we're going to find plenty more spades. So that seems to make sense. The question is, are we discarding the non-spade eight and seven? And I think because we have discards, I think we're going to. Not a very good chance to draw into them. You know, we have four cards that would make a full house out of 43. It's not great. Less than 10%. So I think we're just going to go for spades for now. If we happen to draw into something else, then we'll adjust. But And so we have. So now, just like we talked about, I have three of a kind. It's multipliers higher, as you can see. But we're also going to play these two. Just to get them out of here. Okay, not too shabby. But as you'll note, we've got some work to do yet. Now, this is very helpful. This should help us in whatever hand we play next. I think we're still tossing the red seven. If anything, we have more reason to now. So let's toss these and see what we get. Okay. This should... Whoop, well, let's play it in there. This should be enough. Yep, it was enough for the whole enchilada. All right, 
we need jokers. This is not a very interesting joker to me. <laughs> it might be okay for the time being just because we're desperate for anything, but it's not one that I would really want to stick around and I'd much prefer it not to be $5. But the fact remains that we have the money to spend. Like, there's no reason to stay above the interest cap. Like, yeah, you can save up more, but we need to make sure we don't die before we, you know... <laughs> like, saving money is great, but if we don't get enough points, then it's pointless. I think now that we've invested in this, we're going to go again. Now, what's interesting about this, by the way, is now 3 of a kind is 70 times 7. That's bigger than a full house. It already was before at 50 times 5. Now it's even more so. So now, all of a sudden, we don't necessarily even care about full houses, but we'll figure that out as we go. There is this mega standard pack. We have to add two playing cards. We'd obviously be looking for queens and not sixes. But we do have three threes of spades. Three twos of spades. There's some help that could be available in there. This is never a consideration. There are There is a way to make high card runs work, but it's a pretty specific lineup. And obviously it has no synergy whatsoever with this. This is the one I'm looking at. At minimum, this will be plus four molt. Now, again, that sounds very unexciting. But we have a decent multiplier for stuff, and I think we just are exposed without other jokers right now. So, you know, later on, we'll get two bucks back when we sell this. I think it'd be foolish not to. We also could have re-rolled for five dollars. We haven't done that yet and put three new ones up. But it's tough to spend five bucks on that right now when we don't have a ton of money and a ton of things going. I think we're going to rock this. You could get a Celestial pack and still be above the max interest. But if that doesn't have three of a kind or full house in it, I'm going to do it, but we're going to hope it has something we need in it. Okay. Well, Neptune is straight flush, so probably not. We took out all of our sixes of spades and sixes in general. Uh, straight's not really the thing we're doing, but four of a kind. You know, it, it, it's, a, it's a thing. That at least makes four of a kind more valuable than three of a kind. So we're incentivized to do that, not just leave off a fourth card. And now we're going to keep going. Still have to be careful here. We have not reached the point where we're just going to be absent-mindedly playing because there's a lot of things we can still mess up. Uh, this is not a very good opening hand. Not very good at all. No more fours of spades. We'll probably keep it, though, just because there's so many other things to discard. Like, we can just discard all this. Though you can make the argument, do I keep the nines instead? Maybe? Because we're not really looking... We're not worried about spades just yet. We could end up playing a flush with a pair in it, but... I think we'll go this route. Okay. Not much better. There is more threes of spades. Jacks? No, no jacks of spades. So we either toss this, or we keep the jack of spades and toss the two nines. And, you know, we don't have anything fancy going on with nines, so... <sighs> Maybe it's this? Keep the queen? There are a lot of different approaches here. We're going to try that. Okay. Well, we have a flush with a pair right now, and it's the valuable one. It's not going to be a very big one because of the three and the two twos. But I think for the sake of keeping our discards, I think we play this. I, I could discard like the nine of hearts and the four clubs, but eh. This is gonna be pretty valuable, not gonna be enough. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fine. Cause now we can play three pair. Yay. Um, and this should be enough. Pretty easily. <laughs> That's why I picked this up. Is it phenomenal? No, but we need something to help build. So, oh, three tarot cards. All right, well, this is our first look at Chariot. Steel can be really good for late game stuff. So basically, you put it on a playing card, and when you have that card in your hand, multiplier. We have Hangman. You can help thin the deck a bit. We have Hierophant. The problem right now is like you're thinking, well, what about jumbo standard packs? And there's a lot of variants in them. They can give you stuff that's really valuable. But the problem is, you know, if this comes up and it has like sixes and hearts and like things that don't match with my deck, 
or stone cards, which are a thing we haven't seen yet, but then I'm not super excited. For six bucks, I'm like, eh. There's a part of me that wants all three tarot cards, but I've only got two slots for them, and I can't use them all right now. One trick you can do is if I had an Arcana pack down here, you can have these in your slots, trigger one of these boosters, put the cards out to look at, and use these cards on them in addition to the one you're getting from the pack. But there's no Arcana pack. If you were looking to thin... We had the last six. Threes were down one, but they're all spades. So we don't really have any great thinning targets at the moment. Anything could be helpful as we try and get more queens and stuff, but I think what we're gonna do is buy this, buy this. This adds 30 chips when you play a card, so an ace becomes 41 instead of 11. And then, might go Celestial Pack. You know what, let's do a standard pack. We'll show it off. There's got to be something useful in there. We did quite well for ourselves. Um, so it'll show off what these are. This is a steel card with a gold seal, which don't really work with each other. You get three bucks when it's played, but the steel thing is in hand. But it gives you versatility, I guess. If you have to play, it's a bonus. This is foil, so it's plus 50 chips. Gold seal, foil. So all five cards are nice, but, I mean, it's a spade. It's steel, and it has the red seal on it. So it triggers twice in hand. Or it's worth seven chips twice when you play it. But that's pretty good. That's a good outcome. So we're happy we went with that. Now we can see it in there. Look at it sticking out like a sore thumb. But it means we have three sevens of spades. It also means, by the way, that now we're even more interested in tarot because of this allows us to copy. Like the queen of spades would have been a good copy before. This is going to be an excellent card to duplicate if we get the chance. So let's go on. We have 25 on the dot. We have a couple of things we can do once we start. First hand is drawn face down. Now, we have no idea what we have here. And while you can change this around a bit, without having any cards, it's hard for us to make logical leaps here as far as like, oh, well, like this card is in between these two and they're both spades and we sorted by suit, so it's a spade. Like we. We don't really know what we have, so we basically just start with a discard. I'm gonna discard, oh, did it wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna discard on the low side because we're trying to keep our queens and stuff and they're more likely to be to the left. Okay, so we still have three dead cards in hand. We have three spades, including a seven, which we like. The six is in our hand, we don't like that so much. But for the time being, let's just get rid of all these Okay, well, so what we know is among the things we've, like, you know, discarded. Or what's in our hand, you can sort of see what's here. Um, so we haven't lost a ton that we cared about. All the queens are still in. Lost two of spades, but... Now the difficulty here is this really needs to stay in hand. <laughs> if anything... I don't think this would be enough, especially with a two. But like, you can make the case that this almost could be enough with this activating twice for one and a half times, but it's no pair in it. So I think we're just gonna try and discard two and maybe that four spades or the six. The six is better, I guess, because the four can still make some full houses and weird combinations. We're just trying to draw into one of our pairs with a flush. We have not done it. Now we are also keeping in mind this and this. These aren't really on targets we want yet, but keep those in mind. We are gonna use those here. I guess we're gonna discard one more time because if we get the right hand, we can play one hand and be done with this and the discards won't matter. If we don't, we'll get into that backup situation I mentioned, but. Okay, we have not. Now the question is, is this in a flush enough? It's hard to say. Now, one thing we can do, because we already like that card, um, foil, holographic, and steel, and what's the other one? Foil, holographic, steel, and polychrome are all the same type of thing. So a card cannot have more than one of those, as fun as it would be to have a foil, holographic, polychrome, steel, queen of spades. It's not possible, but I can make it a bonus card. Bonus 
has other stuff like the Molt one. Those also can only have one. But I can make these two, or maybe the seven, because we have more of those, into bonus cards. And the flush might be enough. If it isn't, we still have, we're not dead. But I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm just going to go for it. Now, one other thing we could do, but don't really have the hand for, is steal. We'd like this to also be on a spade, probably, long term. It's okay if it's on a non-spade. If anything, we might keep it in our hand. But I think it's either that or, like, I play these two. And this is the backup plan we talked about. You can play hands just to get rid of them and draw new cards. I'm not going to get very many points for them. But, like, I have the hands to play. The $1 doesn't really concern me. It's just, like, the capacity for this. I'm not going to sit here and bore you while I do math. But, like... I guess let's get a rough sense. So 31 plus 60 is 91. 126. 126 with 10 more molds is 14. I forget exactly the order in which these trigger. This is going to actually do pretty well. That's got to be enough. I'm playing it. Because this is going to be another 14. Because the 7 of spades. We're going to get this twice. This. I think it's enough even without playing chariot, which I want to keep. If it's not, it's going to be damn close, but it should be plenty. Yeah. See, kids, just do a, do a rough estimate so you don't waste your time discarding things and wasting a dollar. Okay. Our voucher is a consumable slot. It's, uh, it's fine. You can see the situation I was in last time where I didn't have room for three tarot's, but uh, our Joker is pretty nice. Something I'm definitely going to consider. Especially in this part of the game. Random Joker. Also, probably not going to turn that down for three bucks. Uh, turning things into clubs. Not super interested in that. We didn't really decimate our clubs like we did the other suits. We had 12 of those, but not really the thing. Standard pack is okay. Jumbo is tempting. If we think about it from this perspective, I could spend all three of these and have 25 left. Sounds pretty appealing. We're going to get the random Joker first just to see. Okay, walkie-talkie, 10-4. <laughs> now, our 10s and 4s are pretty normal, not great. But it's also foil, so every time we play a hand, it gets 50 bonus chips. So we can't really be too upset about that, you know? Like, it's fine. It, for 3 bucks, pretty good. I'm going to pick this one up as well. It has nothing to do with scoring, but it's just going to give us 9 cards in hand. And why are we buying that first? Because now, when we come here... We have a ninth card. So, we're thinking about using this here in this situation. We may not, though, just to keep it in play. Let's take a look at what we have. We have bonus cards. We've seen that. Strength, which is cool. So, rank, of course, is what number? So I could turn this jack into a queen and further our queen. But we don't really have another good target. If I had the last six in here, convert it into a seven, because I'm getting some sevens going, maybe. Uh, Emperor. Always nice. Turn it into more tarot cards. We like tarot cards. Death. More queens of clubs if we wanted. Turn that four diamonds into it or something. And then stone cards. Stone cards give you 50 chips. There are builds around them. If you can get like a polychrome one or one's a discard or red seat. Like there's definitely ways they can be viable, but we don't have any of those ways going right now. So we certainly won't be playing tower. We're always going to be sad to see it. Um... It's just a question of which of these do we want. They're all pretty solid. Like, bonus cards, probably not. At least not with these ones we have. Strength, if I had two jacks, would be a big consideration, but I don't. Tarot, if I want to use this, I need to play Chariot to make more room. It'd be wasteful just to get one card. Now I could put Steel 2 or something. It'd be fine. Death, more Queens of Clubs, but again, like, I, is that what we're doing? I, I, <laughs> I don't know. It's where we ended up, but... Our best cards are now in spades. So I think I'm going to roll the dice on Emperor, which means this needs to become a steal too. And now we play this and get two more. Now, we're not super thrilled about these two, but Temperance, you know, can't hurt. I'm not going to use it right now because if I can get more value out of it, it'd be nice with a fifth Joker. Devil turns things into gold cards. You can see what it says. That's fine. Let's go on. 6K... Joker foil, eh. 
Alright, we have a big old straight in our opening hand, but that doesn't really move the needle for us all that much, if we're being honest, you know? Let's see. Only one four spade. Well, we're certainly discarding. We have more tens of spades. We're discarding like this. Keep a queen for full house possibilities. Let's see what we get. Okay, love to see that card. Love to see more of them, if I'm being honest. Um, we also have two twos of spades. Now we have to play a steel card to make that work, but you know, it's not the end of the world, right? What would be nice is if we had a sixth spade. Although I guess in that case, you might also want to keep the steel one in hand, but we could turn one of these into gold. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do, honestly? Let's turn, I mean, queens are still kind of our thing. Let's turn that into gold because now I think this is gonna be enough. And in that case, now we'll get three free bucks. Like, I don't tend to keep a ton of those in hand because it's much more valuable to keep steel cards in hand. So I think just getting the three bucks out of it now is worthwhile. Okay, we're cooking a little bit, but we still need more, obviously, not only because they're going up, but because we, there's there's a base here, but we're not, we're not like huge. Okay, two different Arcana packs are super calling my name right now. We can buy both and leave us at 25, but face cards, we're trying to build towards that, but this isn't going to be worth it at this point. This card, eh. Steel card is certainly tempting to buy. So we might end up doing that. And of course we have this. The only reason we haven't sold this yet is because we were thinking maybe if we bought a Joker. I suppose the uh, the case you could make is like I could buy a Joker and then get some of the money back from this. But I, uh, <laughs> do I really need an extra discard right now? I guess this could be okay in the short term. Because we'll have enough money. So sure. We're not really thrilled about that either. We'll be replacing that as soon as possible, but now we can do this. It's worth 15. What's funny is that effectively paid for itself. We got two more out of it then, and we'll get two back when we sell it, so like, might as well. And now we're going to buy steel here, just to give us the option if there's something in the Arcana packs we want to turn steel, we're going to buy this now. We're going to go for the two of five first. Tower's here. You know how I feel about tower. Hermit? Can't hurt. Planet cards? Not really interested, especially with Chariot sitting up there. Gold cards? Not really interested. Diamonds? Not really interested. So look at the pickle we find ourselves in. <laughs> the tricky part about this is now we already have one steel, two of spades. Twos are one of the things we can make paired flushes out of, or flush houses eventually. So, do I really want to turn a two of spades into a steel? Would I be better off doing an eight? We only have two eights of spades. The jack, I think, is by itself. So you can make that argument. Queens of clubs are in the house. We have some of those. This is pretty gross. Um, we could go gold, but I'm really not excited about that. I think I'd rather just get two planet cards. Because obviously we're going to take this. I mean, we might as well just lock that one in. That one's coming. That's good for us. After that, with our second one, I mean, God, like, diamonds are the worst thing we have. So there's really no reason to do that. Gold cards are meh. I at least like doing that when it's in my hand, because I know I'm going to get three bucks right away. So I think we're going to go steel jack of spades, and now we have the space. Okay. Well, boost four of a kind. 120 times 13, and we're going to sell this. It's worth a dollar, you know, and it's okay. And now we come back here. All right, so we have five to choose from, a couple new ones in here. Judgment, you know, it could be. Hangman, four clubs is looking kind of suspect. Two tarot cards, you know how I like tarot cards. This is the first time we're seeing Wheel of Fortune, a one in four chance to make a Joker super fancy. We already have two that are. But first, we'd even have to hit the one and four. So, eh, the biggest problem is we're not really in love with the three, or really four, if you count this, jokers that are in our hand that are not the duo right now. So if this turns this polychrome, like, it would be a reason to keep it longer, but, eh. 
It's tough because like random joker could be an improvement. But I think I'm going emperor. We'd love to get stuff like death. It's a shame we didn't get death now because like this would have been a phenomenal target for it. But Okay. Lovers makes a wild card. World makes spades. That's not bad. That is not bad. Now, we are sitting on 54 bucks. We do not have the voucher that increases interest, so we're going to re-roll. We're looking for something that's going to ramp us up a little bit quicker here. We haven't really found it. More molt when discards are gone. It's fine. It's good in the early game because you can kind of win some hands on it alone, but eh. Face cards give molt. Probably better than this, but not to sell this and buy this. So we might reroll one more time. We could reroll a couple more times. We're just looking to get like one more really good Joker. This does a random amount of molt, as you can see, but it's holographic, so it's coming with a guarantee. It is tempting to get us through the next couple antis at least. This has merit because it just keys off the first discard, so it allows us to thin our deck and make some money at the same time. We have enough discards to where that's a pretty viable option if I'm being honest. And then this one. Now, the problem is, in some setups, this would be great. We, of course, decimated our diamonds. We only have nine. So this sometimes is really good. It's not right now. I'm going to buy this. It's just a question of where. Hand size is nice because it allows us to find our draws much more consistently. It would be nice to have with this because it will give us one more card to have to discard. So I think I might just say goodbye to Scary Face because this is foil. So, like... You know. I don't mind the idea of this. Alright. So now we have all sorts of things we can do. We can turn things into wild, which means that they count as spades. We can make some of them spades. So let's take a look at our hands, and we're going to have some decisions to make here. Next Joker's foil. Meh. 9k. So we have to be, you know, again, like we can hit that. We've hit that in one hand a couple times. But. Alright. Decision time. I don't think the Eight of Clubs serves any purpose. We're not going to turn it into a spade. I mean, I guess we have two Eights of Spades, but I'm more just in, like, the, the Queen and Jacks and maybe even the Ace over there for Spades. So I think first we're going to discard the Eight. See what we draw. Drew a Five. Okay, got our three bucks. This card is now basically dead to us, but still, we're thinning the deck. Eight of Clubs is dead. Like, we go in, gone. Now... I think what I'm going to do is turn these three, because they're all face cards, into spades. And we'll hang on to this for now. We could turn the ace into it and basically have all spades in our hand, but there's not really a reason to do that. But we do have multiple pair flush possibilities here. Here's the first one. We'll play as big as we can. You can make the case play the five instead of the queen, but it's fine. Okay. Pretty decent. Uh, we drew three pair, so go us. We have a straight. We could have a flush with a pair if I play this. Maybe that's enough. I haven't drawn any of our superstar stuff yet, so maybe I discard first. We got three discards. My temptation is just to do this. Try and get one of our better cards in hand. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Uh, do I want to play the wild? Um, yeah, I think I do on this. Okay. Now then, let's play our paired flush. Yeah. It shows you the value of those better cards and steel and stuff, because we played a paired flush, and it got us halfway there, and that was enough on its own. 